Hi, so this is a video about the keyboard and octaves. How octaves relate to the keyboard. The keyboard can be split into octaves. An octave is an interval between a pair of notes sharing the same name. So here in this illustration, I have with green marked my first octave. Right? And with the blue, I have marked my second octave. Okay, so what this paragraph says is the beginning of an octave and the end of the same octave have the same name. Okay, the note at the beginning and the end of one octave have the same name. In this case, it's C. So here's my C, here's my C. Now, by the way, an octave can begin at any note. It can begin at D or F or A, it doesn't matter. It can begin at any note. What this also means, by the way, is this note is also C, right? When the two notes with the same name are played together, they seem to sound good with each other. This is because the sound wave of one of them has half the frequency of the other. Okay, let's break it down. When you hear a sound, any sound, the reason you hear that is because the air molecules between the source of the sound and your ear are vibrating. So vibration is the key to the sound. And we call this vibration a sound wave. Now, if the sound happens to be a musical note, such as this one, which has a fixed pitch, now this sound wave has a pattern, as you can see in the, in the illustration. Now, if you draw a sound wave in a very, very simplistic manner, it kind of looks like this. As you can see, there's a pattern because it goes up and down, and it goes up and down again, and it goes up and down again and again. Okay, so this is what I mean by there is a pattern if it's a musical pitch. Now, what's a frequency? So the frequency has to do with how quickly this pattern can happen over and over. So let's pick this note and pretend that the sound wave coming from this note requires two seconds to complete one cycle. And another two seconds here. Another two seconds there, two seconds there. Then I'll pick another note here. So this is the end of the octave, right? This is at the end of one octave. Now this guy only requires one second. This is what's meant by one of them has half the frequency of the other. So this guy needs two seconds to do the cycle. This guy needs only one second. So this is why when you play these two notes together, they sound very harmonious because the ratio of their frequencies are in a simple mathematical ratio, two against one. Yeah? Now compare this to this. Now the ratio is not two against one. This is why when you play these two notes, C and B by the way, they sound like they are in a complicated situation. The keyboard in one octave. An octave interval contains eight notes on white keys in succession. Of those, only seven of them have unique names because the lowest and the highest notes within an octave share the same name. Yes, so we have noted that the beginning and the end of an octave share the same name, in this case C. And there are eight white keys in succession within an octave. So that means there are seven unique names assigned to white keys. The keyboard in two octaves. The series of seven notes repeats itself across the keyboard. Within the interval of two octaves, all the notes except C are found twice. So here is the beginning, beginning of my first octave. And the second octave ends here, right? So I have a span of two octaves right here. And I can observe that the series of notes D, E, D, E, F, G, A, B repeats exactly twice, B, E, F, G, A, B, and C, which is the beginning and end of the two octaves span, this happens three times, C, C, here, and C there. 